Hey, what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Everybody should be doing good because I know I'm doing good. I'm getting ready to uh, interview Philip from Germany, right? 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, actually, I met him through uh, JRE. Was out. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are on live, I want to try something a little different. Just uh, hashtag uh, Germany in here. You know, just hashtag Germany. I want to, you know, give give show some love for another country real quick. So if you guys are watching this live or if you're watching on the replay, just hashtag. Germany. So, um, yeah, actually, I met Philip in actually Atlanta, Georgia, all the way from uh, Germany. He flew into Atlanta, Georgia, and it was actually I met a lot of these um, in the people that I interviewed at J.R. Revis's conference. So if you don't know J.R. Revis, just look him up and uh, hit him up on his Facebook page. He's pretty much active everywhere. But obviously he's active because Philip saw him. You know, I don't know exactly. He'll get into that a little bit later. I don't know exactly how he, um, you know, ran into him or saw him, saw him online. I don't know whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or wherever. But the situation is he saw J.R. Rivas, and I guess he started watching some of his free training at first, I guess. And um, he actually ended up developing his business out of that. He grew an agency. And then I guess one connection led to a next where actually he, um, there's another guy, which he's one of my mentors as well as Andrew Cruzy, And he talks a lot about building Facebook groups and Philip actually built a Facebook Facebook group and he also did a launch and then he made a ton of money on his launch. So it's just, you know, one step after the next. So um, he's getting ready to get into a story. He's going to tell us how it began, how it grew his business, how it just pretty much, you know, progressed. So um, actually we were talking a little bit before and he was just telling me, you know, in the beginning, you know, the water gets very, very cold. And he said, you know, the water gets warmer. And um, so I just want him to get into that and, you know, just start from, I guess, the cold water to the warm water to, I guess, right now, you know, he's in the hot water. So I just want to open up the floor to uh, Philip and uh, go ahead and, you know, just tell us how you began. Cool, cool, Mike. Thank you so much for the long introduction. I have nothing to say now anymore. No, I'm just joking. Thank you for having me here on this uh, live. It's actually my first live uh, from Germany to the States. And I um, share, uh, happily I share my story with you guys and with Mike. I met Mike in October last year, October 2018 in Atlanta, Georgia, because I um, was flying over to uh, uh, meet finally one of my, uh, or the first mentor, the first coach I had. Uh, his name is J.R. Rivas and I, you know, Owe him a lot. So all the credits here and a big shout out to JR. And my story is the following. The, all the journey started when I, yeah, uh, over a year now, when I was uh, as an employee, I sold electric mobility all over the world, to the States, to Australia. And I was an employee and I, I was at the sales seminar of these German guru. He, he's the Grand Cardone of Germany, if you want to say so. And I went to his uh, sales seminar and he, uh, it was in, it actually was in July last, uh, in 2017, sorry. July 2017, it was the first time I just got in contact with all these, yeah, online marketing or digital marketing or whatever. He it was a seminar for uh, salespeople and it was on the weekend and uh, on Saturday and Sunday. And at the last five minutes on Sunday, we were all, you know, full with content and we were tired and wanted to go home. And he just said, I want to give you one last tip. And we were thinking, okay, you know, get done, buddy. We are tired and uh, we have uh, an hour of drive uh, home. And he said, okay, the last tip I gave you on Sunday evening is I grew my business from 1.3 million a year to 12.7 million a year in just 17 months time period. And we were just, what? Is this a joke or what? And um, he said he did it or he achieved it with social media marketing. And this was the time, this is, was the first contact where I decided at this evening when I drove home the hour, I decided, okay, I have to go in. I have to gain some knowledge in this business. And uh, it was really interesting for me. And when, what, I, what I started then, um, maybe it's the law of attraction, but since that day, since the first contact, I was surfing the internet, the Facebook and so forth. And 
you know, the next day it was um, a Robert Kiyosaki post. Maybe you know Robert Kiyosaki. And it was a, he was a, in a cooperation with Anik Singal. It's one of the digital marketers from the States as well. And I bought my first course. I invested the first uh, uh, over two grand and I, you know, gained the knowledge. My first, uh, it was, yeah, to, to tip my toes into the, these new business. And I, I searched and, and soaked and everything. And I came from this uh, Singal to finally to, to click funnels, the software, you know, the funnel software. And after I uh, was coming to click funnels, I finally found, you know, one of the biggest, big, uh, uh, the biggest affiliates of click funnels. It was Jay Arivas. And I finally found his YouTube channel and, you know, soaked it up from the first video to the last. And then, like a miracle, out of the blue, I, you know, I, I contacted JR and he just uh, wrote me back on Facebook and said, out of the blue, let's jump on a, on a, on a, on a call, on a Zoom call. Uh, I, got, I, I have 15 minutes right now. And I even didn't know what a Zoom call is because, it, uh, you know, Germany is two to three years behind with all the technology and everything. And I asked, you know, I, I would love to, to chat with you, but what is a Zoom call? <laughs> and he, you know, I, I, I downloaded the software and finally I got through with my microphone and the camera and everything. And JR was talking to me, you know, my, my, my idol, if you want to say so. And um, I just asked him, you know, I, I um, saw all your stuff on your YouTube channel and you explained something about affiliate marketing and about some agency stuff. What do you recommend? I, uh, at this time, um, it was uh, a, a week later or so that I got kicked out of my job as an employee out of the blue. You know, it was the, the company which um, did not run well, but I was in sales and they did a, a, a 1 million in revenue just to sell electromobility all over the, the world and I was good in sales and therefore JR recommended to me to, you know, when you're good in sales, he told me, uh, you go into the agency thing because you can earn, you know, fast money and lots of money. money. And then I decided at this point, okay, I want to go into this agency thing. And I knew at this point that um, JR was, uh, I think he was the first um, 10K um, achiever of uh, Dan Henry's course and therefore I invested in Dan Henry's course as well it was the second investment no I did investments uh, in, the, in the meantime I can remember but this course of Dan Henry um, I bought in April 25th of April in 2018 and I, you know, soaked it up again and I was now at this time um, unemployed, meaning I had to push, I had to, I went all in at this time. I said, okay, this is now the chance and the opportunity, a lifetime chance for me. I am in the security safety net of Germany, but I want to get out as soon as possible and crush it with this new thing over here to be able to generate leads potential new customers or clients for any local business here in Germany was a huge or is always uh, still a huge um, positive impact or uh, service what you can offer and, and deliver to uh, German local businesses, even Austrian and Switzerland local businesses, uh, all the German speaking countries. And I was a consultant before I was in sales. I was a consultant and consulted local business owners to help them to yeah um yeah uh, to help to 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 get their company going again or that they can um uh yeah have all, uh, how can i tell i was i was consulting companies and they were very glad that i um consulted them with my knowledge. I, I have actually, I have a, a, master's de a master's degree in business administration, but this is a totally trap. As I told you in Miami, when we saw the last time, you know, our education system is horrible. And I'm sitting here, I'm earning 10 times the money I, I earned as a consultant. I have more freedom. I have, 
the life I, 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 I love. And um, it's a trap what we got, we, we, we um, get as an education nowadays to be good in school, have good grades, um, then you're able to study and um, you're able after the study to, to get a good job and make a good career. And then you're in the red race, right? When you in as an employee, I never saw one guy um, being a multimillionaire or really, really successful <clears throat> and as an employee. So this is definitely a trap. But I didn't know what to do. So therefore, I'm really uh, happy and uh, glad now to to see it through this lens that this is all a trap. But this is a Totally, completely story. What I want to tell you is, um, yeah, I bought the course in of April. Then in Germany, it was the GDPR thing, uh, meaning um, we had this huge catastrophical uh, situation that Germany was saying, okay, you have to to or just use specific specific software which is GDPR compliant. Then I had to kick out some software like ClickFunnels and Active Campaign and just structure my whole process in a new way. And then I started in end of May, end of May with the agency when my new process was structured in a new way. And in 33 days, 33 days, I hit the first 10K in revenue or nearly profit. You know, as an agency owner, you don't have that high fixed costs, meaning um, you just need, um, you know, your software. And that's it. It was maybe 100 or 200 bucks in a month. And I did 10K, so nearly uh, all is in revenue. And from si since that point, I knew for sure that this stuff is working and this is a service which is really really in high demand and um, what i did before was i focused and decided for just one niche and i can highly recommend it to anybody who is who is watching right now or seeing it in the replay um everybody uh, uh should you know focus on just one niche in specific way you know because when you have one niche, you gain a lot of knowledge in this niche because you are on the phone with just always the same um, eight, uh, owners of this company. And I, I, I decided to, to offer my service to gyms or fitness studios. And then it has many, many positive aspects if you just niche down to one niche is you you get this word in you get the problems from them you you know how exactly you have to talk with them and you either um, and you even build a a reputation even more and this is exactly what I learned in the courses and uh, what I did and I got my first testimonials from the gym owners and then you know, I focused on gym chains, you know, franchise chains. And since then, um, you know, literally it skyrocketed because I had the first testimonial and the second and the third. And then they were reaching out to me what, when I did all what I I learned in the courses, you know, to um, the different um, possibilities to reach out, you know, via email or phone or Facebook Messenger or whatever, a Facebook group or whatever. And then, you know, I... I, I scaled up uh, from 10K in the first months, then uh, 13 or 14 in the second, and more and more. And in the fourth months, I had over 37,000 um, euros in, in, in revenue. And it was in September last year. And I was so overwhelmed what was possible nowadays with this kind of service. And what I did then is... Um, yeah, in September, I decided I saw JR's um, advertisement for his first mastermind in Atlanta. And I said, you know, I have now the freedom I wanted. I have, I'm, I'm able to work from all over the world just with my laptop and the Wi Fi connection. And I have a lot of money in my bank account. And um, I want to meet this guy in person. And this was the best decision, uh, not just to soak all the knowledge from the states because you know as i said before you're definitely two to three years ahead or in front of uh, all the other 
uh, countries all over the world in, in regards of online marketing because all these softwares, all these, you know, social media things are coming from the States. And I said, okay, I want to give back. I want to meet this guy in person. And um, I didn't know that is a, such a huge event. I just uh, thought, as he mentioned, it is a, um, a mastermind for just 30 people. And he... He, he didn't even have to sell me on his sales page because for me it was just so crystal clear that I have to meet these guys and I booked the ticket. Uh, it, it, the, the flight was 11 hours. I booked me, I booked me the hotel and everything. And then I, 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 I was in this room. I was sitting uh, behind you, the next row behind you, Mike. I can't exactly remember where you sit in the, on the left side in front of me. And then, uh, you know, uh, JR came in and I was, you know, like, what the fuck? You know, it was just an amazing experience for me and all the other guys, you know, in this room, 50 people, the best online marketers or some of the best online marketers, you know, there they were, I, you know, uh, since then, I know all by, by, by heart, or we are really good friends. There was, you know, six, seven, even eight figure business owners in this um mastermind i can tell you know i um a cody near and you know all the great speakers uh, jeff miller or a andrew cruzy um uh, rob quinn everybody was there and um since then i'm i'm totally um yeah i'm totally into this game and love this game and uh this was one of my best decisions i made for last year it was in october and we We went to Top Golf with um, with the guys, and we had so much fun. And yeah, since then um, I decided there and then in Atlanta to give my knowledge to more and more people because it was for me the decision to take. And I talked with Andrew Cruzy in this mastermind and in Atlanta and. Afterwards, I reached out to Andrew because he convinced me in his you know presentation that this that he is um, my next coach. And I, I'm so super um, pumped about it to be able, because of these, you know, first thing for me to fly over to JR in Atlanta, to get in contact with these kind of people, these kind of coaches, now these kind of friends, and to soak always new knowledge from, from different coaches. As, I, as of right now, I'm sitting here, I have invested nearly $20,000 uh, uh, into um, knowledge, into courses, into seminars and so forth. And it is crucial. I want to tell you, it is crucial to always invest first to reap the, the fruits afterwards. Uh, it's, a, it's a game and I love this game because I always wanted to, you know, gain more and more knowledge and um, always learn more you know lifelong learning is so important for yeah growth and, and in business or in in, in your pr private life as well and i invested in andrew cruzy's um authority accelerator he is he is a i don't know i don't find any any words for my coaches uh, jr andrew cruzy they are just awesome awesome guys uh, in, in a person in a personal uh, way in a, and um, you know when you have contact with them every week and you can shoot the messages um, when, when when you have any questions and they answer you and then you you recognize that this is a, a friendship when you struggle you know when you when you have coaches I always try to find coaches which are at least one level even two levels, in front of me, you know, with um, mindset or revenue or whatever. And at the beginning, it is just overwhelming for me to learn this new stuff. And but then when you when you have your downs, because all the, the success is an up and a down curve, it's not always like this. It's, 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 you know, it's like in a roller coaster. But when you have downs and you can reach out to your to your coaches, And they, they have the right answers and you they, they know exactly where you stand. And this is so crucial for um, success and, you know, good coaches uh, is, is crucial. And, yeah, I, I, I built my Facebook group. I built out my, my online course uh, and to, to be able not just to satisfy 
yeah, uh, German-speaking uh, local businesses with the service of getting new clients or new leads, I, I, I was uh, recognizing that I have to duplicate myself. I have to copy myself to give people, more and more people, my knowledge and therefore the chance to get out of their red rice when they are not satisfied with their employee job or whatever and offer the service uh, for their you know niches or uh, local businesses in their area or whatever and yeah um i was in in uh, december i was four weeks traveling with my friends just to reset to be grateful what i have achieved last year i came back in uh, Christmas on the 23rd of uh, December after uh, Colombia and Panama and traveling around and staying on lonely islands and just, you know, focus on, on uh, other important uh, things in life. Friendship is really important for me. And then I, I, I you know, um, worked my butt off uh, literally to get my course, uh, you know, running and I had a crowd of, I don't know how many people were in my Facebook group at this day, but I, I, I did exactly what, what Andrew was uh, coaching me. And I opened the gates to my online course where I, you know, offered, you know, German speaking students all my knowledge I gained the last months and years. Um, from all my different coaches, JR and, you know, all the YouTube stuff and dance stuff and everything. Oh, yeah, you know this is actually here the the um, award from from Dan Henry the 25k award which you just get when you when you get um, a revenue over 25k in one single month and I I had to to prove it and send it all my you know um, transactions of my bank account that I did nearly 38k but um, this is uh, where I'm really proud of. And yeah, I opened the gates to my own course in on the 14th of January this year. And I just was searching for 15 highly motivated people um, who had time and who had the energy. And, you know, best is you have some skills in, in sales as well. Then I knew I let 15 highly motivated people in and I want to yeah, show results as po soon as possible. Um, that my course works and um, yeah uh, what 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 came out the result was that not 15 I had to let in 23 not 15 because they were just messaged me let me in let me because it was such a low price at the beginning just to get people in and yeah the results we have now on the table um, I, you know, the, the best of my course, the best students, they did just um, a, a, Swiss, a girl from Switzerland, Melanie. I'm really proud of her. She's crushing it. She did uh, just five weeks. She did nearly 20K in, in revenue. Uh, the second best is, is Alexander. He did uh, in four weeks uh, 9K. And uh, Chris, he did over 5K. The other Christian, he did over 6K in just uh, four or five weeks. So this shit works and this shit uh, 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 works here in, in, in other countries of the world as well. And since then, I have now in my course, in my program, over 50 people and I raised the price at the moment. Uh, it's it's uh, on the market for 2,400 euro to get in my course, into my group uh, coaching because I offer coaching as well. And, you know, as I learned from Andrew, and yeah, as of right now, I, I, I partnered up with a new coach uh, of his name is <laughs> Nick Robbins. I'm so fucking stoked that I, I have such a coach. You know, he's a multimillionaire and really, really, he's crushing the game. He's a, a godfather in, in his business, in this business, in this agency. And he's uh, coaching me right now. So I'm really grateful and, and happy and um, yeah, to have such an uncircle right now. And yeah. As I, you know, we, I, I was for, I, I forgot the, the, the story of Miami because we were uh, finally meeting up in Miami at the GrossCon again, and I don't know when was. Uh, yeah, I know for sure uh, Miami was um, the first weekend in March, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, this was uh, another thing to just celebrate. Um, 
that you can have a life as you as you you know wish or can imagine when you just follow the steps or the paths what you coaches tell you it's like a recipe i always tell it's uh, like a recipe meaning if you want to to have a specific meal like you know say spaghetti carbonara then uh, you don't know anything about how to cook it but if you uh, reach out to your best restaurant to to the cook of this best restaurant where you always enjoy this specific meal and ask the cook to be your coach and he gives you the recipe and you follow the recipe exactly the same steps you know you take the onions for 10 minutes into the pan and make it and, and, and so forth and he is looking over your shoulder and 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 and, and shows you exactly the way after you follow the recipe from your coach you finally will have the spaghetti carbonara on your table and it will taste delicious and this was um this is always what i want to tell the guys you know invest in great coaches and you will see it works and always invest in yourself and you will get 5x or 10x or even i don't know i i, I don't i didn't i didn't calculate what x i have right now but it's a huge you know it's just huge and i'm so grateful for this yeah yeah that's uh i know you talked about my introduction but uh you took a long introduction so uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was not an introduction mike this is actually <laughs> from a story we can just just close the window now <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I know I, I took a couple of notes during your uh, story and everything. I know, um, you know it just seems like, you know, you kept progressing and progressing. I mean, at what point, I mean, did you say, well, or what? I guess what point in your progression did you say, this is really going to work? Because I know you said you were unemployed a little bit. And I don't know if in the beginning, did you have a job or you just lost your job? But I mean, how, I mean, at what point in your progression did you just say, this This is really going to work? I need to go hard at this and or, or what, you know? I mean, what, what, you know, what just, at what time did it just click? You know, when did you say, oh, this, I got it now? Yeah, it was actually, it was the first campaign I ran because I, I didn't know anything. I reached out to the first gym owner and offered him a free trial, a free week of, you know, my service. And I, I bombarded him with questions to get into this whole, you know, gym owner thinking and wording and everything. And I, you know, built up my first campaign for this specific gym. And today I'm, you know, running for this gym the, uh, campaign as well. So it's uh, over a year now, but we are still in contact. This is awesome. And yeah, the first campaign I ran for this specific gym, it was fucking crushing it. You know, after six days, we had 60 leads. After 10 days, we had 90 leads. And he said to me, please stop. We don't have the process. I don't have the capacity to call the leads and so forth. And I overwhelmed him so much that I knew, wow, this is working. This is really working. And, um, you know, these are all people in this specific city who gave us the name, the email address and the phone number to get the specific offer, the bait. And I said at this very moment, okay, this is working. This was proof for me. And this was the time as the parachute opened and um at, you know since then i just got my first testimonial of him i reached out to the same group of you know business owners and yeah uh since then i did uh, i think i did um five trials that i got four or five testimonials and then i said okay the first week is not free anymore i have to charge because i have this software and blah blah and since then I offered just one week to, because everything was totally new, meaning nobody knew about this service. So I, I, I scaled up from a free trial to a paid trial week. And then I lengthened from one week to a month and then from one month to three months and so forth. And this is, you know, you take you, those, these little baby steps at the beginning, but from since, since then I, I knew this process works and, uh, then I, I, I got paid, uh, you know, in the 33 days, 10K, and then I knew for sure, okay, this is amazing. Wow, that's that's, that's an interesting story. I know you talked about because I guess that's a lot of people's, um, I guess, drawback and setback. It's like, well, you know, I, 
I'm having trouble prospecting. And then when I do get a prospect, it's like, what do I do? How do I serve them? It's like, you know, and then you talked about going down into one niche. It's like, even if I do have one niche, it's, I guess a lot of people don't have a lot of confidence. So I guess you built up confidence. So originally, I guess when you first started, because I, I heard you say that you're asking this gym owner questions and stuff. It's like, you know, just trying to get in his mindset. So had had I guess up until that point, have you had you ever ran any um, Facebook ads or anything like that for anybody else, even your own self or just you just kind of. I just knew it, you know, in a theoretical way from the course, but this was actually my first practical, you know, campaign. And I built up the, it was actually, it was with ClickFunnels landing page and thank you page. But then after this campaign, I changed just to, to Facebook lead ads. And yeah, it was my first experience. And I said, what the heck? It's just, you know, they're pouring in the leads, you know. That's that's interesting you say that because I mean it, that's what you know a lot of people talk about and I've said this before too is like you guys just need to get out there you know you need to try it's like you know just start something even if it's campaign one successful it seems like Philip has the mindset where it's like I'm gonna get this until you know it is successful and yeah it happens I mean you know it might have been he might be you know a one percent or whatever you know one percent you know everybody everybody else might be ninety nine percent but the thing is you know. The situation is you still just got to try. I mean, you know, you may not know what you're doing, but I mean, even in you trying, you know, that's a step you can learn. So that's um, that was that, that's interesting that you said that. And just for the fact that, you know, I just had to touch on this for the fact that you didn't even know what Zoom was. I mean, you, he said, you know, it pretty much didn't even know what Zoom was. And Mike, it's my first time today on Be Live, you know, I, I didn't be on this Be Live before. So it's all, you know, a little bit later here. <laughs> and uh, you know that's the thing i just heard somebody say you know as i was driving earlier this morning it's like you just got to step out of you know your comfort zone so i mean that's what it is i mean it's not necessarily you know just doing stuff you know it's like well you know i'm going to do stuff that i'm scared about you know but i mean you know not even that man it's just stepping out of your comfort zone once you step out of your comfort zone somebody you know recently said once you step out of your comfort zone it's not you doing anything anymore you leave it up to the circumstances so the circumstances are in control because once you get out you I mean you don't know what to do you don't know what to expect because you're out of your comfort zone so that's pretty interesting that you know philip is you know he's constantly doing but i mean if you look at him he said you know look look at what he's doing here where he said that he pretty much he um you know he ran a campaign that he really didn't know um how to run he ran a campaign for another successful business a lot of people have a lot of drawbacks with that you know i don't know how much money the gym owner put in is like well you know you're using some another business owners you know money but the thing is that business owner is going to use that money for something so why don't you try to help them you know assist you because i mean really you're killing two birds with one stone i mean yeah you know some people look at it and say well you're using the gym owner you know a business owner's money to get your training but i mean the situation is the money is going to go to waste I mean, yeah, I guess you can say, well, they're going to pay Facebook. Facebook's going to use the money. But I mean, still, I maybe mean, you're killing three birds. You're paying Facebook. He's, you know, trying to grow his business and you're giving somebody else training. So the way I look at that is, you know, it's pretty much some of that money is going to go somewhere. It's going to go to waste either way. So at least Philip, you know, had already put the time and the effort into training and he, he knew what he was going to do. Or at least he tried, you know, to train. So even if the campaign wasn't successful, I'm pretty, pretty sure that the training actually showed him the training that he watched whether it was from jr whether it was from andrew or whether from whoever else the uh, german guy that he mentioned you know the uh, salesman i mean the situation with that is you know he took the training on that specific area the business owner he knows how to grow his business or he knows how to run his business but philip actually knows how to help him market his business so i don't think you know some people say that's a bad investment to pay you know for some well leave it up to the business owner it's not for you to say so in this situation you see that philip actually grew the gym owner which i've heard a few of other people say that where they actually ran, you know, Facebook campaigns and they were so successful that the business owner told them to turn the ads off. It's like we can't receive all these leads. So there's a lesson for you guys, too, is like, you know, if you understand and you're confident in what you can do, let the business owner know is like, you know, you're doing campaigns and stuff. Some of the campaigns you ran in the past or either some of the, you know, maybe you haven't ran them yourself, but the person that you're following and the training that you're watching, some of the training that or the person that is training, they ran those campaigns. So just let the business owner know is like, I can bring you leads at, and you get so many leads that you want to turn the ads off. So let them know that in the beginning is like, do you have a capacity to handle these leads? Because if you go up and tell a company that is like, who is this guy? He's like, he's telling me he's going to bring me so much business that I'm going to tell him to stop. 
So, I mean, that's, your, you know, one selling point right there. So, you know, I wanted to touch on, I guess, you know, just the educational system. I know you, I'm pretty sure everybody knows Ty Lopez. Everybody talks about Ty Lopez. Actually, you know, I have ran into a few people who actually don't know who Ty Lopez is. Actually, I was in California the last time. And they were like, why are you here? I was like, I'm for, for a Ty Lopez event. They're like, who? Who is Ty Lopez? Then we were in um, uh, Miami. And uh, actually, I guess it was the Uber driver, which, I mean, obviously, even in Miami, Grant Cardone, he did a lot, you know, with the 10X covers. He had billboards up about, you know, they were on billboards, you know, around Miami, the city and all that stuff. And um, our Uber driver was driving us to, um, what is it, the Mar Marlins uh, Park. And we asked her, like, she's like, why are you here? Like, we're here for, you know, Grant Carter. She's like, I know him. And, uh, you know, we mentioned Ty. She was like, I have no idea who that is. It's like, his face is on the billboards. Like, you've, see, you've seen the bill. At least you should. She was like, no, I've never, never really know, you know, heard of him. So it was like, I guess some people really don't, um, really don't know who uh, Ty is. But still, he talks a lot about the educational system. And you said the educational system's horrible in Germany. But, I mean, I don't think it's, you know, that much better here now, you know, here in America, in the States, I don't think it is at all. So, you know, um, and they don't teach you what you need. Like we were talking, you know, before we got on, we we're talking about how society in itself just pretty much they teach kids how to, you know, just from kids. They actually teach us in adolescence at young age. They teach us to go to school. You have to be, you know, at school a certain amount of time. If you don't go to school, your parents will go to jail and you're still going to have to go to school. So it's pretty much, you know, and then when you go to school or, you know, elementary school, then middle school, then, you know, you go to high school, then you go to college. It's like they just have a plan for us, you know, pretty much, you know, you do this, you do this, you do this. And just being an entrepreneur and stepping outside of that box, because once you graduate from college, you know, they say, yeah, you need to go work a job. Then what do they tell you on the job? You learn that you need to come to work between this time. So, I mean, it's like, you know, it's, it's just, you know, pretty much you're in prison, even though a lot of people don't look at it like, well, you know, you're not prisoner, you know, they're paying you and you're, you're doing all that. But I mean, still, you really, you can't do what you want to do. I mean, you can't go to bed when you want to go to bed, because if you go to bed, you're not going to be able to function when you, you know, you want to at your job or you may oversleep or something on your job. So the situation is your, your job is controlling your life. So, and you just heard him say, you just heard Philip say that he actually got to travel the world. I mean, that's something that uh, some, uh, if you work a job, you cannot do that because you only have a certain amount of vacation days. Now you can say, well, you know, I can go here and go there, you know, for a certain amount of time. I can go here for a few days. Then, you know, on this date, then, you know, I can save my other days and go here, you know, a little bit later on in the year. But I mean, that's, that's the thing. Philip is telling you that he has freedom right now. So I guess just, you know, touching on the educational system, I mean, um, I mean, as far as what are your goals as far as educating? Because I know you have students and everything like that. I mean, do you I mean, what is your goal as far as educating um, anybody, you know, just educating people in general? I mean, do you have a plan for that? Do you have I mean, well, how, how are you going to do that? And do you see feel that it's necessary to do that? Yeah, the goal is for this year to just to bring as much people into my program to help as much people to uh, free themselves and uh, experience the lifestyle which is possible nowadays, you know, to, 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 to get the, the regional freedom, the timely freedom and the financial freedom where you just be able to work from wherever they you, you want. And my goal is to, to help at least... Um, 250 people this year with my program to get out of the red race and just coach them as good as possible to, yeah, to finally, you know, see the life, I, I say, to get them out of the matrix, as you want to say so, you know. And, is, yeah. and I guess I was pretty much listening to you as far as your uh, students. I mean, this is the type of coach that you want. I mean, you don't hear too many coaches, gurus, whatever you want to call them. You don't hear too many trainers actually know the um, the successes and the results of their students. I mean, he named about four or five students and he knew it down to the number, you know, specifically what they made. So, I mean, you guys need to reach out to him, you know, if he's, uh, you know, I mean, this is the type of coach that you want. Cause I mean, you can see that he cares about his students cause he, he knew exactly how much, you know, you, they made pretty much, you know, what they made. So, I mean, I guess, um, obviously, you know, you have a heart for coaching and, um, I guess how, how, how did you know it was time to actually transition from, you know, just the agency owner into a coach? Um, cause I know a lot of people want to do that. Some people, you know, just, some people say, well, I don't want to coach, but I mean, I guess they still feel led like to coach, you know, train people. 
So, I mean, what was it for you that said, I need to start helping people and training people and coaching people? You know, um, first of all, I want to say that I'm still in the agency business. I run my campaigns just to, because I have fun doing it, meaning um, to just see what happens in this market. You know, new software, new t- tricks, new new things. Um, and I, I did it with different niches in the meantime because I want to, wanted to prove that I just cannot um, um, generate leads for just the gym niche. Then I did it for, you know, a cosmetic studio, massage studio, even for a drummer coach, for real estate agents. I, you know, you name it. Just to, to prove before I launched the course to be able to generate leads for many, many uh, niches. It's just always the same, you know, nearly this. It, 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 the, the, the template is the same. It's just a new offer and a new wording and so forth. But the structure works. And I wanted to prove that first. And then, to be honest, the story was that my brother, my brother was my first student. My brother is... Uh, or was um, in um, selling insurances uh, 10 years and he quit last year in June because he said he's sick of this job and I taught him as my first student what I you know learned before and I was saying at this time uh, he quit his job in June he had in October uh, uh, over 16k in profit so I was sure when I can teach him I can, you know, teach anybody because, you know, brothers are, you know, it's, it gets loud, it gets rough, you know, and blah, and therefore, and then, you know, I, I was sure I can um, teach this stuff to anybody. And I was flying over to Atlanta where we finally met the first time with the, with the idea, um, what is my next step? And I was talking to JR, I was talking to Andrew Cruzy and so forth. And um, finally, I decided in Atlanta, okay, my next step is to just help more people, helping more local businesses with, you know, pushing the revenues and, uh, uh, and the business. And this is, you know, to be honest, the best, the best service you can offer when you just help people and help businesses to... To, to grow and uh, it makes me happy every day to to have this possibility I'm waking up uh, up every day at 5 a.m and just say what are my goals for today and um, focus on them and yeah I, I I'm still alive even if I work 16 17 hours a day and I, it makes me happy you know well, let me ask you this question as far as because I know a lot of people, they actually don't make it, you know, um, or, I mean, a lot of people aren't successful. Why do you feel that a lot of people are not successful? Why do they fail at their goals? Why do they never or why don't they accomplish their, their dreams? What's your um, reason for that? What's your answer to that question? Yeah, the answer is it takes five five secrets to be successful if you don't have if you have just four you fail for me it takes you have to you you know you have to have all five the number one is the maybe most crucial one is the mindset and this is uh, why I um, read a lot you know I don't watch television the last 13 years or 12 or 13 years I just read I, I, I try to read at least three to four books a month because you know I'm really deeply into self-development you know the the Tony Robbins stuff the Jack Canfield stuff the Bob Proctor stuff the, all this stuff why because I have decided for myself I want to get better every day you know the mistakes and faults I did yesterday I don't want to make today and not tomorrow as well so it's an improving every single day and this is a mindset thing meaning you have to be positive and it's a uh, when you when you see the glass of water half full and not half empty then you are uh, ahead of uh, uh, many many people and this is so crucial to to have this mindset to, you know, we as human beings, we have the chance uh, in in, in comparison to plants or to to animals, 
that we can, you know, change our thoughts proactively, meaning we can decide if a situation which happens to you is good or bad. You know, the, the animal and the plant has not have not the, the, this ability. We, we human beings, we have this. And when you are clear with you and with your 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 life and what is your mission, your purpose, and what is your goals, and you 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 work with these kind of stuff, you get this mindset that you're unbreakable, and this is the number one of having on getting success. Number two, number two is um, you have to set goals. You know, when you don't set any goals, you wake up every morning and don't know what to do. I always um, tell the story of um, you are a small boat on the huge ocean and when you don't have goals, you don't know where to set the sail or how to, you know, steer uh, in which direction. And the ocean, the waves and everything, they're just... Um, chugging you around and you are lost in the, in the in the ocean. So when you have goals, and I recommend to have written goals, you have to write them down. And to be honest, these are my genres uh, uh, behind me. And I write down my goals every day in the morning and in the evening before I go to bed because um, you have to, you know, you have to know what you want from your life. And we have to um, see that we are just a, a, a traveler or a visitor on this planet. You know, it's not, uh, it, it, our life is limited. And therefore I decided I make the best out of it. And I have to get this and this and that in my life. And uh, then I write it down. And this is, you know, number two of the five. And number three is I have daily routines and habits. Meaning, I wake up every morning at 5 a.m., I jump out of the bed and um, have a routine. You know, I have to make the first hour, the first 30, uh, 60 minutes, I do exactly what Robin Sharma is telling me. He wrote a book and he published it just for maybe one and a half, two months ago. It's the 5 a.m. club. And he says in this book, and he says it on all his, his YouTube um, videos that... Um, you have to have routines and habits. And there are bad habits on this planet and there are good habits on this planet. And if you have bad habits, for example, you smoke cigarettes or you drink a lot of alcohol or you watch TV or you're shouting at your family or whatever, you can stop You can stop uh, with these bad habits. And, in, and, and if it's just one bad habit every year, which you, you stop, and instead of uh, a bad habit, you... Um, build up a good habit. For example, instead of smoking, you you you, ran, you, you, you chalk or whatever, or you read, or you, you go into self-development and so forth. And this is, um, you, this is, you know, the routine to, to, to get better every day is number three. Number four is, as I mentioned before, always have coaches and trainers and mentors, you know, like I told you the story with the recipe. Um, why make all your the mistakes yourself when you have a coach which or who shows you the the path the way to success you just uh, follow him and you will get the same results it's that easy you know and uh, number five uh, which is probably you know most important even more important as number one is to just take massive action to just Go all in and crush every day out, grind every day out and work your butt off. And these are my five secrets, uh, which is not a, a, a thing you develop overnight. You, you have to work them out. And, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't uh, get them overnight or f from day to day, but you, you, you can work on these five things and then you, you, you are settled for success. Yeah. So I guess what's the best way to work on those five things? Is it just reading books? Is it, I mean, or is it just a combination of everything where you just pretty much? Yeah, to read books is, is a, a very good way. But what I do in the morning, uh, in the first hour, you know, I listen to YouTube uh, channels of motivational things, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Mulligan Brothers and just to find in the day to, 
to have this mindset. They are telling me they are, you know, great, great uh, um, uh, ones out there. And um, the first hour is is critical. Meaning, you do some sports, you do some fitness in the morning. I stretch and I, I have my 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 running shoes there, or I, I do my my push ups and my blanks and so forth. And uh, it's just three things, you know, to 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 make sport, to um, to uh, vis visualize your goals and to write them down and to read. These three things, 20 minutes each, and you are set for the day. And th if you keep this going, if you get a routine with that, you get this mindset for sure. And you know, uh, you you have to know that there are so many struggles at the beginning, even especially if you're um, going out of the the employee uh, thing and uh, go into uh, the entrepreneur thing, you have to face that there are so many struggles at the beginning and everybody seems to be against you and so forth. But you have to be stay strong and jump and uh, burn all the, your ships and go all in and then finally the parachute will open. And it's, as I said to you, it's just a matter of time, but it will open when you put in the work, when you go all in. That's true. That's true. And I want to touch on, I guess, the mentor aspect of it, because you pretty much, you, know, you guys just heard him say, you know, he was from J.R. Rivers, Andrew Cruzy, now Nick Robbins. And actually, well, I don't want to pronounce the German guy's name. I don't know. Did you mention his name? But I mean, oh, I don't want to mention his name. He's just a, a sales guy, you know. But I mean, still, I mean, that's, that's pretty crucial and important. Now, I guess all of, uh, well, pretty much the ones that you mentioned here, after the one Philip mentioned here, the ones Philip mentioned here were actually, you know, in his um, particular area. But um, I know Ty Lopez says that he actually has 15 to 20 different mentors, but they're in different areas. Like he talks to psychologists. He has, I guess, business mentors. And I mean, he has like, I don't know, I guess the pretty much, you know, like doctors and stuff on there. So he always talks about just having, I guess, a broad spectrum of, you know, different mentors. And he said that he actually calls them, I guess, once a month, each one of them once a month, and they talk for, you know, like an hour. And he said, you know, the true sign of a true mentor is, you know, when you can pick up the phone and call them and they actually answer. So he said, you know, if they really don't answer, you know, then they're more than likely they don't want to, you know, be around you. So, I mean, there is, you know, one motivational fact right there. And I, I've heard, actually, I've said this before, and a lot of the people that I've actually interviewed said before, and pretty much Philip saying the same thing, where if you want to, I guess, progress, then you actually need to invest, you know, into a mentor, into a coach, into a trainer or somebody that actually knows somebody at a higher level. That way, you know, they can show you what they know and then they can pull you up to that level. Yeah, you can go read books. Yeah, you can go watch, you know, motor, or, um, you know, training videos. But it's like if you really invest in that person and like just pretty much just like he was saying, I mean, if you take the I guess the recipe example where somebody is actually, you know, you're trying to cook and there's a chef over your shoulder because how many times have you guys actually tried to, you know, bake a cake? or make a meal or you know put something in the oven but there's no chef there with you and it just turns out horrible but if you had a chef right there saying no i wouldn't put that maybe just a little more of this or a little more than that you know if they're right there with you i mean that's a different story and obviously yeah that meal is going to turn out you know very good that dish or whatever you're preparing is going to turn out you know very very good so that's the thing it's like you know if you want to take your you know progression yeah and then as you you know if you go back to that you can say, well, you know, I can take this cooking book out and I can read it, prepare the meal. OK, it's not good this time. You, you know, you can do it again, you know, you prepare the meal. But why do something 10 or 20 times when you can do something maybe one or two times if you had somebody showing you? It's taking your time as progression. Just like Philip said, you know, the situation is, you know, you only have, you know, pretty much one life. You know, time is very, very valuable. You're only going to live one time. So why would you spend all your time doing something that you, you know, could do, you know, in one setting in one, you know, just at one or two times when, you know, why would you prolong that and progress that? So, um, Philip, you know, I want to close that. Actually, we've been on here pretty much almost about an hour now. So, um, actually, I want to ask you this last question um, as far as, um, you know, some people think it's lighthearted. Some people think, you know, it's just, you know, funny question, deep question, whatever. But if you were to have one superpower, what would it be and why? <laughs> A superpower. A superpower. You know, I think every human being has a strength, or even a, if you want to uh, tell it, uh, 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 say a superpower. And uh, in life, 
for my uh, perspective, is one of the biggest goals is to find your superpower because not everybody knows what his strengths and weaknesses are and what is your your purpose or your mission. And um, I read a book of Jack Canfield and he says in this book you have to write down down not just one goal which you have in life. He says you have to write down 100 goals. And it takes a little bit of time. You, not with a finger snap you find 100 goals in your life. You have to be in a silent mood. And, you know, uh, it took me, to be honest, three or four weeks to be able to write down my 100 goals in my life. And um, when you know this, this is your... You know, it it, 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 uh, it depends what passions you are and, and what you love in your life. And then you, you crystallize the, the goals out of your life. And this 100 goals, when you um, uh, form and, and achieve with using your superpowers, and um, I, I'm, I think your superpowers are... You're, it, it changes over the, over the lifetime. Meaning, as of right now, as I sit here and talk to you, I think my superpower is to be able to teach people to get out of the red race and, and uh, get out of the nine to five and get to um, achieve their goals. And this is um, what I have as a superpower right now. And I don't know if this is my uh, mission or my superpower uh, three years from now, but um, I, when, you, when you always work and always learn more about things, then you just uh, propel up. And I hope that uh, in three years, my next superpower is, uh, you know, something else maybe. But, you know, this is, this is my answer to, to what is my superpower right now. I enjoy really what I do. I love it. I get good uh, reputation, uh, and no, 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 a good reputation, a good um, feedback from my students. And this is what makes me happy to say, okay, what I do, what my superpower is, I, I, I have success with it. That's good. That's, that, that's a good, I've never really heard, you know, anybody say that, but you know, it does make sense, you know, because, um, I guess the you know the situation that you're in you know in your life right now is going to actually change later. I mean you're pretty much doing something that you're doing now, but that you're not going to do later on in your life. Pretty much you know the situations are going to change you know in your life as you progress, as you grow more, as you learn more. So I mean things are going to change. So therefore you know I guess your pretty much you know your superpower will change. You know um, so I mean that's a, that's an interesting take. Most people just come out and say something you know. But, um, you know, you really had a thought about, it, you know, as a, you know, pretty much a transitional superpower where, you know, you're transitioning, you know, pretty much, you know, throughout and everything. But uh, thank you, Philip, for, uh, you know, joining on, dropping uh, knowledge bombs. You know, I guess it was, um, who was it? Luis Alvarado. He came on, and, you know, he dropped a wisdom bomb that I'm actually still thinking about where he said, you know, you need to make a thousand year goals. But actually, you just opened my mind, too. And you pretty much just said, you know, instead of just having, you know, one goal, like, you know, one purpose you know, you said that, or the book that you read or whatever, but just for the fact you said it. So um, you need to make, you know, 100 goals for your life. So, I mean, that's my big, you know, takeaway from, you know, this interview is, you know, you guys out there, you know, not not even necessarily, you know, just one goal, but have 100 goals. Because actually, you know, if you think about some of the entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs now and just the fact of the internet and everything, you know, a lot of people are accomplishing and reaching their goals. And they're like, well, you know, I accomplished my goal. Um, you know, because I, you know, I actually retired or, you know, resigned from my nine to five job, um, you know, or either, you know, I made, you know, a specific type of money because of the Internet. A lot of people are being able to do that. And in the past, it wasn't so easy to do that because the information, you know, really didn't have the information to do that unless you were, I guess, um, and, you know, privy to the information or you were, you know, had a developed a relationship with a big business owner and stuff like that. But I mean, just for the fact of, you know, once you do accomplish your goal, it's like, what next? So, I mean, that's one thing, you know, that you can do is have a hundred goals for your life. And like he said, you know, it took him three weeks. Philip said it took him three weeks to make a hundred goals. But I mean, not even, I mean, that's, I mean, now that, you know, I'm sitting here thinking about it, my mind is kind of blown just sort of the fact that you were actually focused on that for, you know, three to four weeks. I mean, you know, it may not have been the whole time, but I mean, just that you took time out, you know, during the day. And that's actually, you know, that's self-development just for the fact that you are doing that. You know, some people are like, well, let me just write one goal, two goals, three goals. 
But I mean, just for the fact of, you know, you took really three weeks. So I mean, I guarantee you that it wasn't just for the fact that you came up with a hundred goals, you know, that was your goal to come up with a hundred goals. But I mean, I guarantee you that you found something that you didn't know about yourself in that process. So for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's pretty interesting as well. So, Phil, how can people reach you? I mean, obviously, you know, you're blowing up, man. You you got the agency going. You got your uh, coach. I mean, you got students making a ton of money. Um, How can people reach you? How can somebody be one of your students? That way they can follow you. That way they can follow in your footsteps and you can coach them, mentor them. Um, How can uh, people reach out to you? What's the best way? Facebook, Instagram, what? Yeah, the easiest way is on Facebook. Uh, it's uh, Philip N. V. Lang, or on Instagram, it's the Philip Lang. Um, maybe you can just, you know, they can see us our life here. Uh, they can reach out on Messenger or whatever. Yeah, I'm happy happy to help anybody who who needs help. I'm helping out, of course. All right, thanks so much, Philip, and uh, you heard it here. So that's what you guys need to work on. Work on creating and making, you know, 100 goals, you know, it's, you know, not just one, not just two, but 100 goals. That way, you know, you can actually find something new about yourself in that process, self-development, self, uh, you know, intuition, self, whatever you want to look at it, man, just, uh, you know, just a change in your life. So I appreciate Philip hopping on with us and um, we will see you guys on the next one, which actually is going to be tomorrow. I'm going to interview another guy. So um, I got the post on there. Antoine Gray, um, he's doing a lot of um, big things on Facebook. So check it out, 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. But uh, thank you, Philip, for hopping on, and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a good one.